pendekeza kuundwa kwa ofisi ya kiongozi wa upinzani itakayohakikisha serikali inawajibika ipasavyo mazungumzo ya maridhiano huku yakiendelea kuundwa kwa ofisi hiyo ni moja wapo ya mapendekezo ya kundi la Kenya kwanza mbalo ambayo mapendekezo ambayo azimio imepinga vikali Brian Mwai anaangazia swala hili la ofisi ya kiongozi wa upinzani ambalo ni sawia na mapendekezo ya BBI ambayo Rais William Ruto alipinga vikali mwaka jana Kuundwa kwa ofisi ya kiongozi wa upinzani imeleta mjadala nchini. Rais William Ruto hapo jana akisema kuwa ofisi hiyo itaisaidia katika kuhakikisha serikali inawajibika katika utendakazi wake. The president or part of the government is already making proposals. For example of having a strong office of the opposition uh, leader of, of official opposition. I have also said before and we have had this conversation that in the current term it is not possible for us to realize the former prime minister as the leader of official opposition as much as he is the second runners to an election though they have already contended this and they have said open the server open the server and open the server structurally speaking it is expected that the person who comes second becomes the leader of official opposition but now Kenya does not have mechanisms to be able to put that office in in in, in place you lose an election by only 233000 votes for example and you walk kundi lake ambalo linaongozwa mazungumzo ya maridhiano kati ya azimio la umoja na Kenya kwanza wametakiwa kuwasilisha mapendekezo hayo kama moja ya mambo yanayopaswa kuangaziwa that you sit on the left so you are opposition and you, you sit on the right so you are the government yeah now that has a lot of issues and that is where i think that uh, azimio la umoja is more or less trying to present the opposition through agitation and that agitation is in the form of the demonstrations that we continue to see. Upinzani mara nyingi wameamua kufanya maandamano jambo ambalo limeilazimu serikali kuitisha kikao cha maridhiano. Wataalamu ingawaje wanasema kuwa huenda pendekezo hilo likaleta tena mjadala wa BBI. BBI is coming back. And sadly is that uh, we saw that uh, during the BBI process a number of uh, assumptions were that the deputy president and his team then were the people who really uh, spearheaded the failure of BBI but it is interesting to note that uh, now almost eight to nine months into office most of his uh, followers and even high level uh, party uh, uh, leaders are actually talking about many of the issues that were raised uh, within BBI but remember that some of these issues for example are changing the structure of of the executive and and that really sends shivers to me because for you to be able to change especially the structure of the executive the constitution is very clear around what you need to do in articles 255 and 256 either it is a popular initiative or a parliamentary process ikiwa makundi haya yatakosa kusikizana basi huenda wa Kenya wakarudi tena katika maandamano Brian Mwailu Cup TV Nairobi Na familia ya Yesu wa Tongareng imelalamika kutokana na ukosefu